What's up guys, it's Joe here, just hanging out in my home office, and I just wanted to make a quick video about dropshipping niche selection and why it doesn't matter. And I also wanted to make a quick announcement. And the announcement is, I think you guys are gonna like this. You know, when we first started on YouTube, uh, you know, I was kind of a little bit focused on like editing and like getting a good intro in there and like making sure the videos are have a well-planned out topic rather than just kind of covering um, you know, stuff that's important that comes to my mind that I think you guys would find useful. Um, so, but we're not doing that anymore because you know what? We want to spend time focusing on our businesses and we want to give you guys the best information possible. And I don't really think the fluff of editing and all that other stuff is necessary. So we're just going to come at you guys with frequent videos and, um, you know, the best advice we can as often as we can without any edits or cuts or anything like that. So, uh, now let's get on to the topic of this video, which is why dropshipping niche selection, especially when it comes to high ticket dropshipping, uh, doesn't really matter. And the reason for that, let me take a quick sip, is because acquiring suppliers, number one, doesn't cost any money, and number two, doesn't really take much effort. You know, I can call 20 to 30 suppliers in a morning or an afternoon, and you know what, if they don't work out, then I'll call more the next day. And worst comes to worst, if I pick a bad niche for a store, um, which which hasn't really happened yet, by the way, because you know we've you know made a success out of every drop shipping store we've made. But you know, worst comes to worst, you just get a domain, a new domain, and then redirect your Shopify store to that domain, a different niche, and call more suppliers. And honestly, if you do that for a week, two weeks, and you just keep securing suppliers. You're gonna find one that works. You're probably gonna find multiple suppliers that works that work, and before you know it, you'll have a legitimate business on your hands. Um, so, our students often ask this question, and I, I get it. People get really, really hung up with niche selection, and you know, in other online marketing businesses, such as like affiliate marketing, you know, if you're gonna make a niche site or something like that, niche selection is really important because you really have to. You're committing just to a long-term thing where you're gonna try and make a website, see if it ranks in Google, um, and yeah, and, you know, analyzing the competition and picking the correct niche, it's something that you can be able to work on for a long time is important. But for this, you know, there's just so much room to pivot. So you'll learn way more in the business, calling suppliers, you know, seeing if stuff works, um, than thinking about the business and trying to come up with the perfect niche. So, um, you know, that's basically what it comes down to, guys, is just, Get in, there, get in there, pick up the phone, and before you know it, you'll have a successful dropshipping business. Um, you know, as always, be always, be sure to check out the free course in the description, our online asset playbook, where we kind of lay out our strategy for, for a portfolio, and um, you know, hit the like and subscribe so we can see you in the next video with more advice.